Good morning. I am not Nancy Gowler. Our pastor is on vacation, preparing to move to Kentucky, and I've volunteered to give this a whirl. I've really cherished the morning prayers, and so I thought it's a great habit to continue. So. Good morning to you all again. I have looked outside. It's a typical Washington morning with overcast clouds with some patches of blue. So there's hope. So let's start together. Um, well, Okay, Rick is asking me if anybody is seeing and hearing me. I see that Carrie's signed in and she's watching. Um, I'm hoping that you can hear me. Uh, maybe Carrie, you can make a comment. Can you hear me? Are you getting this? Um, um, Carrie says I can hear you, so I'm going to continue. So let's begin um, our morning prayer. You are wrapped in light as with a garment, O God. You ride on the wings of the wind. Let's be still and be aware of the presence of the holy within and all around. I'm going to um, continue with the words from wisdom um, from Proverbs 8. Uh, this is a uh, telling retelling by John Philip Newell wisdom calls to us from the crossroads of life she raises her voice and says to you O people I call my words are to all who live come to me you who lack understanding hear for I will speak gracious things and from my lips will come what is true and right. Seek my teachings instead of silver and my knowledge rather than gold, for wisdom is better than jewels. And everything else you desire does not compare with her. I, wisdom, will offer you awareness and strength of soul. I walk in the way of right relationships and along the paths of peace. I give knowledge and understanding to those who love me. God created me at the beginning of time, long before the creation of heaven and earth. When there were neither heights nor depths, I was brought forth. Before the mountains and hills were formed, I was there. When the moon and the sun were established, when the sea and earth were filled with creatures, I was beside God like a playful artist, and daily God delighted in me. I rejoice in the inhabited world. I love the human race. So now, my children, listen to me. Watch for me in the morning and wait for me at night. Hear my guidance and be wise. For those who find me find life, but those who lose me will lose their way. In our psalm this morning is Psalm 51. Oh, no, it's not. Psalm 62. I think that was Friday's psalm. Psalm 62. 
Only in God is my being quiet. From him is my rescue. Only he is my rock and my rescue. I shall not stumble at all. How long will you demolish a man, commit murder, each one of you, like a leaning wall, a shaky fence? Only from his high place they schemed to shake him. They took pleasure in lies. With their mouths they blessed and inwardly cursed. Only in God be quiet, my being, for him, for from him is my hope. Only he is my rock and my rescue, my fortress, I shall not stumble. From God is my rescue and glory, my strength's rock and my shelter in God. Trust in him at all times, O people. Pour out your hearts before him. God is our shelter. Only, br only breath, humankind, the sons of man are alive. On the scales altogether, they weigh less than a breath. Do not trust in oppression and of theft have no illusions. Though it bear fruit of wealth, set your heart not upon it. One thing God has spoken, two things have I heard, that strength is but God's and yours, master, is kindness, for you requite a man by his deeds. And we're missing the click clack of toenails and the wag of a tail and the barks of Stony. And so I found this poem, uh, Mary Oliver poem. Um, I noticed that she published a book of poems just about dogs called Dog Songs in 2013. And in the article, there was a one single comment that said, Poetry, it has been said, is the shortest path between feeling and reality. And somehow a dog seems to perfectly walk that path. So this is Percy Nine from Mary Oliver. Your friend is coming, I say to Percy, and name a name. And he runs to the door, his wide mouth in its laugh shape, and waves, since he has one, his tail. Emerson, I am trying to live as you said we must, the examined life. But there are days I wish there was less in my head to examine, not to speak of the busy heart. How would it be to be Percy, I wonder? Not thinking, not weighing anything, just running forward. And that is Percy Nine from Mary Oliver. Let's reflect on our scripture, our song, and the poem today. And let's pray together. In the silence of our hearts or in spoken words, let us give thanks for the gift of this day and pray for the life of the world. In the silence of our hearts, we listen for wisdom, O God, that we may learn again that we are born of you and that all people are bearers of your everlasting image. In the silence of our hearts, we listen that we may know once more that the earth and all its creatures are sacred and that within us and among us is your wisdom and your delight. Amen. And I love Nancy's benediction, and so I'm going to use pastors when she closes morning prayer saying, be well, be kind, 
and always be the church wherever you are. Have a great day and I'll see you in the morning.